If you're new to shooting music videos or looking to up your music video game, then this is the product for you. What's up guys, Rose at Production here and today we're going to be talking about my new music video guide ebook. So the whole reason why I want to create an ebook tailored towards music videos and giving you guys all my tips and tricks for music videos is just to create a one stop shop for it rather than everybody having to rewatch all my content or make notes on my content. So I thought that a one stop shop ebook would be perfect so that you guys could actually use this more as study notes and I feel that um, the knowledge is better retained in your head when you actually read something rather than sometimes listening to it. So with all that being said, we're gonna go over what this ebook entails. So the first chapter will be camera settings. So this is gonna go over simple aperture, ISO, and shutter speed, um, you know, how to incorporate different shutter speeds with different frame rates. We also go through slow motion, when to use slow motion, as well as picture profiles and a few other things under the camera setting category. The second chapter will be on onset knowledge. So the onset knowledge chapter will go through um, things like how to use a green screen, how to location scout, how to make a treatment and why a treatment is important to your brand and to a music video. Shooting in a studio environment, so what you're going to expect when shooting inside of a uh, recording studio when you're with artists or producers, etc. 60 FPS performance scenes, which I've explained in my video vlogs as to why I shoot 60 FPS performance scenes, but I break that down in text on this ebook. Common film terms that you'll hear on music video sets or sets in general, as well as directing the talent and extras and kind of tips and tricks that I have for when you are actually on set and maybe things get a little hectic on set and how to kind of control the environment that you're in. So chapter three will be on equipment. So different equipment that I use on my music video sets as well as recommendations for equipment. So I go through my lens recommendations on the high budget and then low budget end. I also go through uh, camera recommendations. So there's cameras there that I use as well as the high budget recommendations and then lower end budget recommendations um, that you can use to shoot a music video. We touch on lighting a little bit, which I also give recommendations on for high and low budget as well as extremely low budget, which I go over in the ebook. And lastly, we go over variable ND filters and why those are so important when you're shooting outdoors on music video sets as well as Bluetooth speaker and a Bluetooth speaker that I highly recommend that helps me with audio syncing when and I'm editing a music video. Chapter four will consist of camera angles. So different camera angles that I personally use on all of my music video sets, whether it's the simple push in, push out movement or a gimbal movement where you're semi-circling around the artist, um, as well as a couple other different gimbal kind of techniques, as well as a um, handheld techniques and why I shoot handheld on music video sets. Chapter five, we have post-production. So in this chapter, I go through my timeline settings, my export settings, and I also link back my part one and part two of how I edit my music videos, which you guys can check out on the channel. I felt that um, I didn't really touch on too much on the post-production side. I just wanted to kind of be very transparent on what my export options were and a few do's and don'ts when you are editing music videos and exporting music videos. Like I said, I did post my part one and part two links for how I edit music videos. You know, those are like 30 minute to one hour length videos that will 100% help you with your music video editing process if you are editing on Final Cut Pro 10, but I'm sure you will pick up some um, do's and don'ts when you are even editing on Premiere and you do watch those tutorials. Now the last chapter in this music video guide is actually business tips. So this is going to cover um, some really important stuff that I think is overlooked by a lot of music videographers in the industry and just videographers and freelancers in general. So in this chapter we go through how to invoice a client. So this is how to properly invoice a client using QuickBooks. So this is actually an invoice template program where you can actually send a client an invoice so you actually have that paper trail that you went out and shot that video and the client has paid you for that product that you gave them. This is something that just adds a whole different professional aspect to videography and to your business and bigger artists and management will actually take you a lot more seriously if you actually take the um, right steps into um, the business side of music videos and videography in general and I do touch on all of that in the music video guide. So in this chapter we also cover how to actually get music video clients so I talk about things that I did early on in my career and things that I even do to this day. These things have definitely helped me um, gain traction on social media and gain clients overall 
and um, get more paid work in the door. So that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to toss a little promo video out there and let you guys know that I have dropped my music video ebook guide. Super stoked about this. Again, it's a one-stop shop for if you are just getting into music videos or if you have been shooting music videos for quite some time or maybe for a year or so, um, I'm sure that you'll pick up a thing or two from this music video guide and it's definitely worth every penny. So with all that being said guys, if you guys want to check out this music video guide, I will leave a link in the description of this video as well as in the comment section of this video. This book is priced to sell. It's cheaper than most other music video guide ebooks that you'll see on the market right now. So definitely check it out, consider purchasing it, greatly appreciate it. So with all that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.